Hey, what's going on, world? It's me again, Ethan Smith, a.k.a. Mr. Ping, man. Another Daily Dose Positive post, My Word Wednesdays, however you want to look at it. Me getting my message out to the people, man. You have to be relentless in your pursuit of excellence, man. Not excellence as in perfect, because no one is perfect but the creator. But you have to be relentless in your pursuit of pre- in your pursuit of excellence for the goals and the dreams and the aspirations that you set before yourself that you want to obtain man relentless who's who do you consider to be relentless like people that put in that work they went through all the struggles and the ups and downs to get to their destiny like chauncey billups to me he was relentless he was on five different teams before he became a detroit Pistons. you know what i'm saying how many of us that's not a true basketball fan knew who chauncey billups was before he got with rip hamilton rasheed wallace tayshaun prince and ben wallace he was relentless man in his pursuit of excellence how many teams probably thought that he wasn't good enough to do the things that he needed to do but he never gave up he never quit he never stopped believing in him himself so you have to be relentless in your pursuit of excellence man and the things that you want for your life steve jobs man relentless in his pursuit for the things that he wanted in his life for apple he worked for he created apple and at one point in time was fired from the company but he was relentless in his pursuit of excellence for the things that he wanted for his life and the things that he seen in his mind to come a reality his brand his vision what he had before for apple and then eventually they had to hire him back to a company that he created He was relentless in his pursuit of excellence, man. Michael Jordan, relentless in his pursuit of excellence, man. Six NBA championships, six NBA championships. Now, if you older like I am, I'm 40 years old. I remember watching the Pistons in the late 80s, early 90s, the bad boys. I remember watching the Jordan rules probably be created when they would foul him as he came to the hole. He was relentless in his pursuit of excellence to get past the Pistons. And once he got past the Pistons, there was no stopping him. It was from the Pistons to the Celtics on to the Lakers. He was relentless in his pursuit of excellence or the things that he wanted for his life, his determination, man. Earlier today, I was checking out some YouTube clips. While I was doing my research, man, and the most relentless cat I've ever seen in my life or character I've ever seen, one of them, believe it or not, man, Wild E. Coyote, man. Yeah, I know I'm dating myself, but I already said I'm 40. And no, I'm not saying I sit back and watch cartoons all day long. What I'm saying is when you're looking for something, you can find the positive in everything. I do research on things that's uncommon to people, maybe. Well, I say Wally Coyote was relentless, man. You never seen Wally Coyote be negative. He didn't talk, of course. He didn't make many facial expressions besides maybe a frown. He would be thinking. And then in the next clip, in the next episode, Wally Coyote was back to chasing the roadrunner. Back to coming up with a new idea, a new strategy, a new plan. He tried everything. What are you trying to to reach your goals? Are you relentless in your pursuit of your goals? Are you relentless in excellence? Are you trying everything? Or are you stopping at one or two or three things? Are you giving up after 10 tries? 10 tries don't get you. 10 tries don't get it, man. You have to keep going. You have to keep grinding. You have to be relentless in your pursuit of excellence, man. Tom Brady, relentless, man relentless you see me rocking the michigan i'm a huge michigan fan man tom brady was relentless in his pursuit of excellence how do you come from 199th pick in an nfl draft to having five super bowl rings and being considered the goat the greatest of all times you know how you get that you're relentless in your pursuit of excellence you don't give up you don't give in you believe in yourself and you push yourself when other people tell you you can't make it You have to be relentless in your pursuit. Man, my fellas, you know what it's like when you see that young lady that you're interested in, that you're attracted to. You're relentless in your pursuit of her. Now, it may not always be for the best intentions. It may not always be to treat her like a queen that she is because sometimes we think with the wrong mindset. But when we go after something, we're relentless in that pursuit. So the same energy that you use to go out and chase women, the same energy that you use to grind for the money, to go get the fresh shoes and the fresh clothes, you have to use that same energy and be relentless in your pursuit of excellence for your life, man. 
Only you can give you what you want in your life. So, man, start being relentless for the things that you want in life and watch how those things in your life show up, man. Be relentless, man. I just gave you some great examples of people who are relentless in their pursuit of excellence. Michael Jordan, man. The great. Chauncey Billups, man. To me, one of the best. Wild D. Coyote, man. Everybody watched the Roadrunner cartoons before, man. If you in my age category. Wild D. Coyote never gave up on the Roadrunner. Never gave up. And it's funny, as I was watching those clips... And it was like from the 80s and the early 90s, it fast forwarded to the remake version. And it could have been sometime in the 2000s. I didn't catch the date. But while the Coyote was teaching his grandson or maybe his son about chasing the Roadrunner. And he was saying to him he couldn't get a present or a gift until he came back with the Roadrunner. So still, years later, Wildy Coyote's relentless pursuit was to catch that roadrunner. He never gave up. He never gave in. He believed in his dream, and he fought hard. Unfortunately, he never achieved that dream. I've never seen him achieve that dream, but he kept the chase. He kept the pursuit. He stayed in the hunt. You got to keep chasing. You got to stay in the hunt. In order to get to success, you got to go through the process. And that process may be failing multiple times, but failure is never final, man. So be relentless in your pursuit of excellence, man. What you consider your excellence, what you consider what works for you, man. Be relentless in your pursuit. As I like to say, man, you have to run your race at your own pace. Because when you're running your race at your own pace, then you always come in first place, man. It's your boy, Ethan Smith, a.k.a. Mr. P. I'm out. Be relentless, man.